All right, hey friend, in this video, we're doing some really fun summer fruits. We've got a mango, banana, and a slice of watermelon. And I'm showing you really simply how to paint these fruits using wet and wet technique, no wet and dry really, except for the seeds on the watermelon. But I did this all, all three of these fruits, I don't know, under 10 minutes probably, super quick, really fun. Uh, tutorial to do with kids, any age, any experience level. So let's dive in. All right, so for my banana, I'm going to use my size six brush and load up with burnt umber and a touch of Mars black for this little stem or brown part on the banana. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna use a really low angle slanted hold with my brush probably about 25 degrees away from the paper. So I can use the belly of the brush to just bring down this, um, you know, half an inch little rectangle type thing. And from there, I'm gonna see just probably a quarter of the front side of the banana. So if you think of how the outside of the exterior of a banana is, it kind of has like three to four sections that create a kind of flat surface um, with the peel. So I'm going to have, I'm gonna load up with my same brush, I'm gonna load up with Lemon Yellow Deep. And using the same slanted hold, I am going to come to the very far edge of the front of this brown stem area and just bring out this front part. Maybe get a little thick here. And then you see more of this section on the banana. So I'm gonna lighten, I'm gonna get rid of that pigment off my brush and just use water and grab that and pull and taper off. and make it a little bit thicker. Then I'm just gonna add a little stroke of Lemon Yellow Deep right here to hint at a little section here and maybe some yellow ochre. And some burnt umber with some Mars black for that tip. Might bring that up here as well. I wanna add a little bit more yellow. But leave that little sliver so you can see kind of the bump, the edge of that. And to make it a little bit more interesting, final touch, I'm just gonna grab some lemon yellow deep with a touch of sap green in it. And just a little. It's just like a recently turned ripe banana. All right, so our next fruit is what? Water is a watermelon. We're gonna use wet and wet again for the watermelon. So I'm gonna grab some sap green and some phthalo turquoise and grab lemon yellow deep for a really yellowy green sliver for our rind of our watermelon. And I'm gonna use about a 35 degree angle away from the paper with my brush and just paint in this C curve. Get rid of all that pigment off my brush and my water cup. And then with just water, I'm going to use the same slanted hold, a lot of water, and go over about half of that yellow green and brush it out with some water so that yellow green starts to blend in with that water stroke because the rind of a watermelon starts really saturated in yellow green and then it fades to kind of almost a transparent color. 
And then this is really wet. And I'm gonna move quickly because I wanna see this kind of blend. I'm gonna get some Scarlet Lake and Aqua Rose, lots of Aqua Rose. And I am going to start at the point of the slice of watermelon. So try and get to point to the center. And start painting my way towards that. Grab a lot of water and start blending that in. And grab the edge. Then I can go back over these edges for some wet and wet. And once that dries, I can paint in some seeds. Then my next, my next fruit, my next and final fruit is going to be a mango. One of those red, orange, and yellow green mangoes. I'm gonna start with a lemon yellow deep base. And they're kind of like this bean shape, but obviously much bigger than a bean. Paint in the shape with the yellow. Grab some cadmium orange and a touch of Scarlet Lake and go to the base of that bean or the mango and plop it in. Watch it burst. Grab some more red. Up. Maybe prop it up. And then I'm going to grab yellow green. and bring that in over here. When you're adding contrasting colors, so green and red are contrasting colors, you wanna make sure to not mix them together on purpose, because that's gonna create some brown. But if they happen to touch each other um, using wet and wet, just through natural bursting and bleeding, then that will be fine. But you just wanna be careful to not overdo it. And then I'm gonna grab some burnt umber, a touch of Mars Black for this little area. All right, so now that my watermelon is dry, I am just going to place it in just a couple of seeds to make it really pop. Make sure I get rid of any excess water by blotting on my paper towel. And I'm just going to, with a 35 degree hold, just go plop, plop, plop. Do it again. Plop, plop. Plop, plop. There you have it, some fun summery fruits. 
Well, that was fun. I love painting fruits, especially love how the mango turned out once it's finally dry. Don't touch it. I know it looks like it's not spreading enough of the color, but trust me, the watercolor knows what it's doing, especially if you're using some good quality materials. So we got our mango, our banana, and our watermelon looking pretty cute. I would love to know what your favorite fruit was to paint in the comments below. Did you love painting the mango, the banana, the watermelon? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd love to see another future tutorial on any sort of produce, like a vegetable or a specific uh, fruit, I was gonna say a specific banana, a specific fruit, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future tutorials because they're freaking bomb. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.